which is now in use here in San Diego by an MD for his own private research. <clears throat> This is a front view of the instrument showing the dial on the left hand side which w operates two twin jack screws that move the microscope up and down to bring the object into focus. This is a rear view of the same instrument showing the, the uh, belt that's uh, connecting the two jack screws. Now this is a test set up on the Leitz optical bench showing the, uh, the optical system which can be projected to test out the various optical components. And this is another external view of the projection microscope with a six inch barrel which has locations at the top of the barrel for three eyepieces or a camera which can be inserted and the images reviewed or seen. Uh, this is a, another patent drawing showing the optical path of the uh, light from the base to the top which is projected on up by the condenser lenses, the optical uh, oculars and the, the eyepieces or projected on out with a special mirror which goes to a screen 10 foot away. It could also go to a television camera which would increase the power another 10,000 times. This is a picture again of the <coughs> Rife Research virus microscope for to see the cancer virus, TB virus, and many other viruses which Rife recorded in my book called Electron Therapy, which is available for for sale in uh, Polarity in the Polarity Research Manual. This instrument was designed for uh, controlling bacteria in oil and gasoline, in which the U.S. government had about $300 million in storage tanks in several places around the world, which had to be replaced every three months. Now, this instrument could kill the bacteria in the fuel so that the replacement would be, not be necessary. President Nixon reviewed this system and decided for the oil companies that there would never be anything like this ever allowed to be used so that the citizens of this United States could keep on paying $300 million every quarter. And uh, further details of this will be shown in this next slide, which shows a screen, a stainless steel screen inside of a plastic tube in which the electrodes were placed in the screen, one in the center of it and one on the outside of it so that anything passing through that area would be devitalized. Now this, this instrument could go up to 100 volts but uh, only 4 or 5 volts was necessary. The the fluid that came from the, from the storage tanks was pumped through this devitalizer and on back into the storage tanks again. Another uh, setup was made to kill the viruses and, and bacteria in chickens. 
Uh, this was made for the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Uh, secretary Butts was the principal secretary at the time. And his uh, research lab was over in uh, March Field near Riverside, California. And uh, th these, uh, this system was set up to be used inside the chicken cages. They just slid in and the wires that you see were made of aluminum. The frequency instrument was in the background to generate frequencies which would be lethal to the viruses that the chickens were being affected with from living in unhealthy conditions. Upon uh, delivery of this unit to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, they immediately saw that it was electronic and uh, after being apprised of that fact, they, they, they refused to allow any research to be done because they were working with drugs only on instructions from Secretary Butts. And uh, all of this work in preparing this uh, experiment was in vain by John Crane. The chickens destroyed were destroyed at the rate of about 25,000 a month because of this virus condition. Oh, yeah. That's it. All right.